Welcome to our next lesson uh, in creating a Telecaster body. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn about extruding curves to create, uh, to transform a two-dimensional image into a three-dimensional object. And uh, we're going to do that by extruding some curves from the Telecaster we drew. So as you can see, what we have here is uh, the Telecaster that we drew in the last few lessons. Uh, here's it in perspective view. Uh, and we made that uh, an outline layer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the next layer to work on. So we're going to make sure that it's blue and that we have this little circle checked off. And that's the what we're going to do our extrusion layer in for the body. So the first thing we want to do is select the body of the guitar. All you have to do is click on the curve and everything should go yellow just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and work in perspective view by double clicking on that. And I'm going to just get right into extruding this curve. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a solid extrusion and we're going to extrude a planar curve straight down. So as you can see here, uh, you can do it just by looking at it, but we want to be very precise. So I'm just going to cancel that and we're going to refer to our blueprints here. So this looks familiar. This is uh, the diagram blueprint we used for creating our guitar. So if I scroll up here, we have the side profile views of the guitar. So here is our measurement for the thickness of the guitar. So we have 45 millimeters. So I'm gonna head back to Rhino. I still have this curve selected. Go solid, extrude, planar curve, straight. And we have a bunch of uh, different commands here. So for instance, we do both sides, as you can see here, it extrudes it above and below the plane. Uh, we're not gonna use that. Um, as, you, as I said earlier, you can do it by eye, but we want to be precise. We want to make it exactly 45 millimeters thick. So I'm just going to go into here and I want to extrude it below our surface like this rather than above it like that. So I'm going to go negative because we're going below the surface 45 and press enter. So that finishes the extrusion. And as you can see here, we transformed that line into a three-dimensional object. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the outline layer for right now. So if you want to see that it actually is a three-dimensional object rather than just kind of a surface here, you can go to these tools down here and you can go shaded view. So as you can see, it's completely solid. It's a solid three-dimensional object. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that back off. Turn my outline layer back on. And uh, now we're gonna finish off the rest of our extrusions. So I'm gonna refer back to our blueprint here. So I'm gonna work on the volume pocket here. So you can see got our volume control knobs in here. Here it is down here. So this is the pocket we drew in our two dimensional image in Rhino. And this one has to be 35 millimeters. So head back over here, select this curve, and we're using the exact same process we had for the body. So I'm gonna go solid, extrude, planar curve, straight. And this one, instead of negative 45, we're gonna do negative 35 millimeters because that's what the blueprints call for. Press enter, as you can see, zoom in a bit. Went down, but it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, like 10 millimeters right there. All right, so I'm gonna refer back to our diagram here. Now we're gonna work on our pickup pockets. So this pocket here, 
this pocket here, and I'm also going to add in our wiring channel pocket that we placed right here and make all those the same depth. So as we can see here in our side profile of the blueprint, this is the pocket we're going to be working on, these two right here. So this is 25 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and select three pockets at once. So I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to hold shift down, select the second and the third one. Go back to solid, extrude, planar curve, straight. I'm going to type in negative 25. Done. We have it. Now the final one we want to do is the neck pocket. Our diagram here. It's kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in a little bit. So we're going from this section here to this section right here. So this is our neck pocket. Sure enough, this is where the neck of the guitar is going to go. And it calls for a measurement of 20 millimeters right there. Go back, select the outline. Solid, extrude planar curve, straight, negative 20 millimeters, press enter. And there you have it. We have all of our extrusions completed in our model. And in our next video tutorial, we're going to go over Boolean splitting. I'll show you why we have to do that. I'll turn off the outline layer there. Turn on the grid. So as you can see, we extruded all of our pockets, but there's still a solid surface. We can't actually see into the guitar, and we want these to go negatively into the guitar. So we're going to talk about that in the next lesson.